When it comes to career changes, they don't get much bigger than Cody Simpson's. The global singing megastar is now set to represent Australia in the pool at the Commonwealth Games. And the muscle mountain himself, Cody Simpson, <laughs> joins us now live from Adelaide. Big fella, how are you? Carl, how are you? Mate, so good to see you. Um, give us an idea on what it was like for you to make the team. Man, it was, it was one of the best moments of my life so far, I think. One of the most monumental things that I, I just didn't expect to happen to me this year, you know? Like, so I, I really am lost for words still, and I'm, I'm in a bit of shock. I feel a bit numb, to be honest. I think, um, you know, when we did that 60 Minutes story together, um, even then there were huge numbers of doubters out there. Um, but when you see the work yeah. that you're putting into it, I mean, did you doubt yourself that you could get this far this quickly? Um, you know, I, I always believed it, I think. And, and it's funny to, to think back to last year and us, us hanging out there and, you know, right when I'd gotten back, I, I certainly had said then, you know, the goal is Paris and that anything that, you know, could happen in advance of that or any team I'd make before that would just be an absolute bonus. So, mm -hmm. like, yeah, I, I, you know, I didn't... I certainly didn't expect it, but I also didn't rule it out either because I knew like how much training, how much training progress I was making, and I knew that you know with with the times and things I was going in training over the last few months, it was certainly a possibility. I just didn't want to speak too soon, and I had to get the work done, and I had to I had to deliver mm. on the day too, which you know fortunately I did enough to do. So how much faster can you go, um, and how much faster you know can you can you get in the lead up to Paris? Um, yeah, hopefully quite a bit, you know, like, you know, it's, it's funny because obviously I've only been back in the water for, for just on two years now and um, for, for me and my coach, you know, the sky's the limit. We sort of don't know where my limit is, so mm. we're still, you know, we're still improving and progressing. There's so many little things that, you know, even in my uh, performances at trials here uh, that I can tighten up on, so it's just exciting to see, like, you know, how much further I can get. There's something in the water in Queensland. Um, look, Grant Hackett uh, wrote a terrific article about you too the yeah. other day, I'm sure. I don't know if you read it, but um, saying that you're changing the game for a lot of kids in what they do and, and how they're being inspired and the fact that you have music running alongside yeah. what you do. Yeah. I, um, you know, I was excited to come back into the sport because, you know, I think I, I love swimming. I, you know, I, uh, I want to get more kids into it. I want more kids to stay into it as they get older. Um, you know, it's a, it's a rad sport. It's a cool sport. And, um, you know, it's certainly uh, something I grew up loving. Um, but, uh, like, I, I kind of wanted to, to show that, you know, there are ways to do it that are unconventional and you can come back and, and, and swim later. And, you know, you don't have to, tw sw you know, train 10 times a week from the age of eight years old to, you know, potentially, uh, you know, tap into your potential later. Um, my friend, along with um, all this attention um, comes negative publicity and negative attention, which I, I, you only know too well. Um, you and Kyle um, have had yeah. a tense week, right? Um, you, you say that you managed to speak to Kyle. Uh, what happened as a result of that conversation, yeah. if you don't mind sharing? Yeah, no, you're right. Um, it's certainly a whirlwind week. You know, I was holding my breath all week, you know, um, wondering, you know, what decision Kyle was going to make. And obviously, you know, he'd, um, that first I'd... Uh, you know, sort of been a, a guaranteed qualification that, as he wasn't going to swim. Um, and then uh, he decided to, that he was going to be swimming. So, uh, you know, that kind of put my decision a little bit on the cusp of, of the selectors. Um, but, uh, you know, we had the chance to, to kind of clear the air. And, um, you know, he, he's obviously in his right. He qualified second. So, um, you know, I respected, I was going to respect whatever decision he wanted to make. Um, but, uh, you know, we were able to clear the air and we're excited to go and race uh, again over in Birmingham in this event. And it's exciting that he's in this event because it only makes it, you know, that much more competitive for me and it's that much more inspiring to want to, you know, improve and mm. um, have more, more healthy rivalries here in Oz. All right, I can't, go, I can't go anywhere um, further than, than asking you about um, Emma. Uh, how are things uh, on the love front, big fella? Mm? <laughs> mm? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm here to talk about my swimming. I don't know what you want me to say. I can't. <laughs> it's nice we're on the set. It's nice to on the same team. We're going to England, so it'll be a nice holiday. All right. Good on you, Cody. Congratulations, mate. You work yeah, incredibly yeah. hard. Um, and all the other stuff, uh, who cares, apart from all the tabloids. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Good on you, brother. Thank Love you. Love you, Carl. You too, brother. Love Thank you. you. Love his new album too. He's a terrific young fella. That's a lot to take in. G'day, it's Ali. 
and Carl. Thanks for watching the Today YouTube channel. <laughs> Subscribe now for brand new videos every day and exclusive bonus clips. Ali, say please. Please? Why? Please? I don't know. <laughs>